In this video, I'm going to touch on three things about the 50 series graphics card. Are they any good? Are they worth it? Or whether or not you should upgrade. And I don't make any money at all in this video. It's just advice. So let's start with what is the biggest difference between the last generation and the next generation of graphics cards? Well, if you watch CES, you know, because they said it 200 times. AI. And now that you hear that, you probably just have the normal reaction. You roll your eyes and you say, oh boy, because the only part of your life that isn't AI yet is when you're wiping your ass. One of the biggest selling points of graphics cards for the last eight years after the introduction of ray tracing with the 20 series graphics cards has been software. The most recent being upscaling using AI, also known as DLSS. Previously, DLSS was just able to render your game at a lower resolution and upscaling it using AI. But now, DLSS 4.0 and 50 series graphics cards can add frames in between those rendered frames. And it also works towards solving the issues with the earlier DLSS 2.0 and 3.0 struggle with at times, which was fidelity, which is just how clear the game looked. But back on track, the 5070 was introduced to be on par in gaming performance with the 4090, which is technically true, because it takes advantage of DLSS 4.0. But the way that graphics cards are measured is with CUDA cores, which translates to how many processes the GPU can do simultaneously. That being said, ooga booga, bigger number, better. For reference, the 4090 has about 6,000 CUDA cores, and the 5070 Ti only pushes about 9,000 CUDA cores. Which just goes to show how valuable, on paper, DLSS 4.0 is, as the 4090 and the 5070 Ti could go neck and neck in terms of frames. But now that you know that, it doesn't mean anything if the card is not worth it. And that can be calculated depending on your needs, and let's face it, price. Now if you weren't paying attention to CES, the 50 series cards are seeming to debut at a more reasonable prices at the lower end. The 5070 Ti and the 5070 are going to be starting at $750 and $550, which if you're like me and struggle with big numbers, that's about 205 McDoubles. So why should you upgrade? Or why shouldn't you upgrade? I'm sure you've seen the memes. If you own a 40 series card, then the 50 series is just an $800 software upgrade. And honestly, if I owned a 4070 and up, I wouldn't upgrade, but I own a lower end 3060. So upgrading to a 50 series makes sense. And it would be a worthwhile investment for me because I plan on using it for the next four years. And I'd implore you, if you're able to afford 205 McDoubles, you should also upgrade. But if you're not able to upgrade when it drops, but you still wanted a new graphics card, just watch as the cash cows start dropping their upper end 40 series cards onto Facebook Marketplace, the 50 series arrive. Now I'm curious, what graphics card do you have? Also subscribe.